Did you know that JotForm offers you the easiest way to upload files for free? Well, let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for uploading files. Now, if you have any questions, of course, let us know down below this video, but always come back to this landing page because you're gonna get a lot of questions answered. Now, before we jump over into the actual how-to, I wanna point out a couple of things from this landing page that I think are pretty important to focus on. So if we scroll down, we are going to talk about how you can utilize Google Drive, Dropbox, or any of those external sites. But the key thing here is even if you have the free account, look at what JotForm is going to offer you. You have 100 megabytes of storage space and 500 total submissions for free. So if you need more storage than that, you can always upgrade your plan, but that is a lot of space for free. So let's go ahead, we're gonna scroll back up and let's go ahead and create a form and we'll show you how. Now, as you can see, that create a form button brought us directly to our template gallery. So if you need to get your creative juices flowing, you can always utilize a template. But for this example, I wanna start from scratch. So I'm gonna go in the top left-hand corner. Let's choose jot form to get us back to our dashboard, the create form button, top left-hand corner start from scratch on the classic form. Now, the great thing about this is there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Let's go ahead and put their name. And if we scroll down, we have the file upload option. Now, this is going to allow your users to upload their own file. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the preview option. Now, if we click on this and even on mobile, if we click on browse files, we can choose which images we would like to upload. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two images and we can see both of those screenshots have loaded, but that's not the only way. Let me go ahead and X out of these. So instead, we can also do a quick drag and drop. So let's say drag and drop there. Perfect. And let's go ahead and do fill form. We got John Smith. Let's go ahead and bring those two back in. Perfect, we'll do submit. Great, let's go ahead and jump out of the preview. Now, something else that we can do is we can add integrations in. So if we would prefer to store outside of JotForm, we can do that as well. So up in the top middle, I'm gonna choose the settings tab. Then over on the left, we have integrations. And then depending on where you want these to go, if you want to go to Google Drive or Dropbox, you search for yours that you would prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and do Google Drive. Oh, but I can see that it was right there. Perfect, Google Drive. Let's go ahead and authenticate. It's gonna ask you which Google Drive, if you have multiple Google Drives, which one you want it to go to. Now we need to create the name of the folder that we want these PDFs to go into. So let's go ahead and call this one file upload. And do we want it to create a subfolder for each submission? So basically, do we want to create, so a folder for Sarah, a folder for Kelly, a folder for John, every single person who fills out the form to want to create its own folder. I think that's a great idea. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then we wanna know what do we want to name the folder? I actually would prefer it to be their name. Perfect. And then it asks, do we want to turn the submissions into a PDF to send to Google Drive? And I don't particularly need that because for this example, their name is going to be in the top and then their file uploads are going to be in the file. So I personally don't need their submission data added in, but we do want this last one. We do want the file upload to be in that Google Drive. So let's go ahead and do a quick save. Perfect, so now we are good to go. So let's go ahead and turn back on preview form and we'll add a name and we'll add those screenshots back in. Perfect, we'll do submit. Great, so let's close out a preview. Let's jump back over here. We'll head over to tables first. Got it, and we can see we have John Smith and we have Sarah Johns. We have all of their uploads. Now let's jump over to our Google Drive. So here we can see we have it created its own file called file uploads and we chose to have sub files based on the person's name. So we can see Sarah John's file folder right here. So if we click on Sarah John's, we have both of her images that she uploaded with our JotForm 
perfectly within our Google Drive. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other additional questions about how to use JotForm for file uploads, let us know down below in the comments. And again, don't forget to check out that features landing page for information. Now, if you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.